What's going on YouTube? Today I took two losing trades and I'm getting ready to break them down right now. First before I do, I want to take a look at the statistics. So I took two losing trades back to back which puts us $2,000 and $56 in the hole this week. That puts us in the red, 1,800 bucks. It's not the end of the world. Today, I really had a strong urge to overtrade just cause I'm frustrated that most of my trades so far this week have been red. Today, I don't think I did anything wrong. I stuck with my plan and I stuck with my strategy. The only thing that I should have done that I said that I was gonna do yesterday was when I do take a red day, just, or when I do take a loss, just walking away from uh, the day. Excuse you. Okay, hold on. But the one thing that I didn't do that I said I was gonna do yesterday is whenever we do have a losing trade, just to walk away from the day because emotions are heightened, you're not apt to make the smartest trading decisions. At the same time, I feel like, you know, the trades that I did make did go with my plan. So let's go ahead and break that down right now. So here's kind of what I saw, you know, we have kind of been in a downtrend, but also we've been really choppy on the day, which isn't uh, super exciting. We did see this huge leg down and I was hoping that we would get a little bit of a retracement and then another push back down. We didn't really have that. So we ended up developing this chop range right here. And then we had this candlestick here and this candlestick, both of these were fairly high volume. My thought was is that the high volume would push us out of the range. I went long at the top of the range where it broke a little bit and then reversed back down and ended up stopping me out. Not too long after that, we had some high volume downside candlesticks and I went with my entry model again where it again flushed down, got about halfway to my take profit before it reversed and went back up. It's super frustrating. You know, generally high volume candlesticks, whenever you're in a chop range that pushes out of it, usually you get a bit of a continuation. And with this long leg down, I thought we would get another long leg down. Also a little bit of a contradictory here is this retracement in the, this higher low. Thought we were gonna end up going long. That obviously that's not something that happened, but man, if you look right now, the mark is just really choppy. And if I would have entered here, I would have, I would have gotten away with a trade. It's just, man, it's, it's been, it's tough. I feel like these last two weeks have just been really tough in the market. And you know, I, like I said, I don't think I did anything wrong here. I'm just going to kind of stick with my plan and go from there. Since so I've been doing the strategy from the 20th of May to today, we are still green, $1,893, 58% winning trades. These statistics haven't really changed too terribly much. I really wanna get back uh, in the green. I just have to wait for more flowy price action that goes more trending flowing price action. These last two days, well, really the whole week besides Monday, we've kind of had super choppy days. So I don't know, I, I'm feeling pretty frustrated. Um, but you know what? I'm sticking with my plan. I'm staying disciplined and restricted. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, I hope to see you guys for tomorrow. Hopefully it's a green day recap and we can come back on the month and or on the week and finish it green. And next week, if I can finish that week green, then I will probably try to switch to live money. You know, my statistics look good. The last three weeks I have been profitable. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully I actually start making some money in the market. Going from there. So instead of having these paper trading recaps, hopefully we can have some account challenge recaps. I look forward to it and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.